Okay, real quick, this is a follow-up to my last video checking out this DX Engineering RF choke. And uh, what I decided to do is check it out the same way I would any other common mode choke. So, I'm using a two-port nano VNA measurement and I'm driving the input here right to the box. And the output ground side feeds the other port of the uh, nano VNA. So just like you were measuring across the shield of a coax in a toroidal type situation. So that's the method. Now let me show you the results. Okay, the nano VNA is sweeping from 1.5 to 30 megahertz and I spotted some markers across the screen at, on the different hand bands and took some data on S21 gain and S21 phase right off the data section to the left of the graphs. Um, I can hide that. So you, uh, but you got to, you're limited to uh, four markers. So I had to move them around in order to grab enough data. But once I got all the data for gain and phase at the different um, frequencies of interest, I plugged them into a spreadsheet. And let me show you that. Okay, here's the Excel or Open Office spreadsheet that um, is available as a calculator kind of thing on the internet. And uh, what you can do is input the gain in dB and the phase angle and it'll calculate for you the total impedance and break it down into resistive and reactive components. So, you know, I calibrated out the device the best I could, but I'm sure there's some error there. Um, but this should be, you know, maybe a relative indication. Might be able to zoom in a little here on the uh, output R, X, and Z and everything above the zeros. Yeah, there you go. So that's 160, 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. The R component, the X component, and the total impedance, um, including the uh, proper sign. So it's uh, it's got at least a kill ohm of impedance everywhere, I guess. But I kind of thought it might look a little better than that. Um, over here is the uh, magnitude and the phase data for uh, each one of the frequencies there. And that's what's used to cal calculate this information. So, that's probably pretty close to what a DX engineering one-to-one -one RF choke looks like. So anyway, that's how I did it this time around. And I think the results are kind of believable. That's the output. Um, this is always the hot side with the red D. This side is tied to the chassis or ground. So if I feed it ground, you know, feed it to the box and take the output from there, basically uh, just like you were measuring a uh, common mode RF choke wound with coax on the outside shield. And that's where this data came from. Anyway, keep tinkering. That's it from now. For now. See you all later.